I am painting a dolphin because I am meditating on the energy of self-love. So there's nothing like a dolphin to turn a boat full of practical, logical, linear thinking adults into a group of giddy, giggling children, right? Dolphins create the energy of love and joy and have traditionally been a symbol of divine love, joy, intuition, since they live in both the ocean and breathe the air, they are amongst the shamanic animal totems that are able to live between two worlds. Traditionally, throughout history, they are seen as escorting spirits to heaven to meet Jesus. And the word dolphin comes from the Greek word that is or closely related to the word for womb. So that nurturing, unconditional mother love is the energy of the dolphin. I chose to surround the dolphin drawing in orange because orange and blue are opposite colors on the color wheel and they contrast each other the most. So if you paint blue on blue on blue, you end up with a lot of blue, not a lot of contrast, which creates depth and interest. So I outlined, surrounded the dolphin in orange and allowed it to dry, and you'll see moving forward how I allowed the orange to become like a second outline. With this technique of kind of the starry night Van Gogh technique, um, at first it can look, or your inner critic may suggest that it looks childlike or scribbly, and the beauty of this is that as you keep going and layer on the different shades of color, the spirals become very interesting backgrounds. And of course, with the water element, it was perfect. So when you're painting, it's fun to introduce unexpected colors. This neon purple is a atypical color, but the fluorescence I find really add some extra energy to a painting and allow it to be a little different, catch the eye, catch the attention. So once I had the background fairly covered, I started adding what I like to think of as kind of energy made visible. And this is not an uncommon technique, of course, but it's super easy and fun. And I hope what you are able to see with this painting and to see the entire progression is that when you, quote unquote, get better at painting, sometimes it's just that you become more patient, less afraid of making mistakes, you understand that anything can get painted over anything. So you just feel free to experiment and try and play, just like the dolphin in the ocean. So you can try a color, add it in. If you don't like it, it dries really quickly with the acrylic paints that I'm using here. And you can paint over it. I also decided to look towards the first layer of the painting, which, if you remember, had some pink in it. And so 
I mixed a little pink and started adding that into the background energy. And as soon as I did that, the dolphin got really playful. And I had a blast painting the dolphin. One of the things you'll find is that what you paint you have makes a difference. To an infinite palette of energy and expression. Your creative